so so we back in the uh, probably 2004 we started collecting data and we ran a a internet survey of over 2000 bodybuilders and nearly you know, nearly 2000 american male bodybuilders to kind of figure out what's going on what are the demographics what are the motivations who's using steroids why are they using steroids how much steroids are they using what are the usage patterns uh who you know what what are their backgrounds and and we published it in the journal of the international society of sports nutrition thank you very much and um and my co-authors and i presented what was I think what um, there's been some research done since that essentially has found the same thing and it supported some pre-existing research, but basically uh, our, I'll put it to you this way. The, the, if we were to look at the average non-medical, non-medical steroid user, we were taught, we found was a single highly educated, gainfully employed white collar worker earning an above average salary in his late twenties to early thirties wow. who started steroid use in his mid twenties and was not, and is not involved in any competitive sports of any kind. And we found that 80% of users of anabolic steroids in a non-medical context were not really using it to compete in any sports or arguably for performance but really for cosmetics. Anabolic steroid use for most people uh, is, is kind of the counterpart of breast implants or, or liposuction or cosmetic surgery. It's a cosmetic aesthetic tool that people are using illegally you know, and, and, and okay. certainly in the United States, although laws vary across the, the globe, but, um, but are using it to look better basically look better on the beach without a shirt on. That, that's essentially what steroid use is about. Mm -hmm.